So you've shot your footage, big part of the job done. But in the editing suite, you notice it's quite not up to scratch. There's something missing, a little, how do the French put it? Je ne sais quoi, va va voom. In this video, we put together five top tips on how you can sprinkle a little bit of magic on your footage and transform your video content from a video that's always sat on the sports bench to an A-star superstar who is always picked first. Well, maybe sometimes. On YouTube, that is anyway. Hello, welcome back to Tricks and Tips. I'm Adam. Before we give you the good stuff, a quick reminder to share your thoughts down below and be sure to subscribe. Although you should have already done this already. Come on now. And don't forget, give that bell a good old wallop. Right then, let's get into it. Well, actually, before we do, a quick reminder of sorts. If your footage is a bit rubbish, a little bit below par, and not that well shot, remember, there's no magic wand in this world that will fix it in post. So without exception, during the pre-production stage of your planning and then join your production, make sure what you're shooting is absolutely on point. And if you're new to the video game, video game, not an actual video game like card or GTA, I mean like video content game, that, yeah? That means really getting to know your camera and understanding it. Understanding how to tell a brilliant story and making sure your audio is the best it can be. Only then can you make the most of the opportunities that come with post-production. So, first up, transitions. The best ones, nobody notices. It might sound a bit odd, but it's true. The thing is, good transitions are like extras. Nobody pays them any attention, but they play an important role. And the key is not to overuse them. Remember, less is always more. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> what we suggest at videos is that you master your cut and scene transitions and leave them crossfades and whites for them Hollywood directors. Leave them to do it. We don't do that here. Unless, of course, you shoot in a good old 80s flick. Then sure, go for it. Next on our list is the humble montage. A montage is great if you have a lot to cover, but you don't want to add more viewing time to your video. Watch time is key. You need to keep your viewers engaged, keep it short. All you need is a good soundtrack and a good collection of shots that flow and tell a story. Now, continuing with the 80s theme, Karate Kid or Rocky IV, perhaps the greatest movie of all time. Well, it says in brackets, according to Nindy, uh, still a great film. Watch Rocky IV anyway. Like, just do it. Both of these films have nailed the montages, so go and watch them. Analyze them and put them techniques into your videos. Use montages effectively. They won't work for every piece of content you do, but remember when you do use them, remember to mix up the shots. Your montage should include wides, mediums, and close-up shots. A good video's tip is to record the same thing over and over again, but in three to four different ways. Whether that's in different angles, different sizes, record the same motions, same actions, three to four times, you're good to go. Next is B-roll. If you want to keep your viewers engaged and their twitchy fingers away from their screen, then pepper your content with a bit of B-roll. This helps a sort of like a mini brainwash, if you like, and this is because it introduces something visually different to what's on screen. It's simple, but super powerful stuff. At videos, we tend to slot in a bit of B-roll in it every 30 seconds or so. It helps to switch up the video. It's not a hard rule to follow, but it's a good way of averaging out B-roll across your video content. Of course, if it doesn't make sense to insert it at a 30 second point, then don't. By the way, B-roll can be anything. It could be slow-mos, screen captures, images or slides, and even better, video animations, which by the way, we can help you make that. Videos help you make better animations. Whatever your goals, whatever your platform, no technical expertise is needed. It's quick and easy, and the output is as professional as it gets. You can get access to these animations anytime, anywhere. They're 100% in the cloud. From transitions, outros and intros, you name it, we've got it all. Add your logo, write some punchy text, switch up the audio and change up the colours and you're good to go. Number four on our list is good music. We've got a video on our channel at the moment that goes into more detail about this, but in short, music can make or break a scene. So, learn to use music at your advantage. Have you got an emotional scene that's a bit static? Well, some string music could really get your viewers' heartstrings going. An action scene that's lacking? Well, any real action. Stick in some fast-paced rock or some trap beats and you've got yourself an instant adrenaline rush. Our final tip is something that often gets overlooked and that is colour grading. 
It's an extremely powerful way of shaping visuals in post-production. Whether you're looking to set a particular mood or keep your branding consistent, that one's important. And most importantly, make your video stand out from the crowd. At Videos, we're serious about colour grading and being able to grade well is an important skill to learn. And if you're serious about video content as we are, it's pretty much a must. There's plenty of videos out there that will help you master your grading skills. But first, we recommend you watch our video about looks. It's a quick and easy way of getting straight in there and started with grading your videos. And there you have it, five amazing ways you can transform your video content in post-production. From smart transitions and mega montages, to strategic b-roll and high quality audio. Oh, and I nearly forgot, a good grade too. A good grade will always do you well. As ever, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and whack that notification bell so that you never miss a future video. And that's all for today's video, we'll see you soon.